Yeah. I woke up this morning in uh, London, actually staying in a hotel right in Leicester Square. So it's been really great because you're right close to all the clubs and bars and restaurants and movie theaters. And uh, just kind of walked out and had some breakfast. Got a um, chai tea latte and um, a ciabatta with like um, eggs and ham on it. I came to the UK 10 days ago. I went to London and then straight to Manchester and started the, started the tour with meatloaf. They always have really good desserts here and it's so hard to be on tour because they make like brownies and muffins and cakes and cream cakes. And... So after this tour everyone's going to be like... The only time where I actually feel like I have more routine in my everyday is when I'm on tour. And that's right now and where you kind of you know, have a show every other day, you show up at Soundcheck around 4, you have dinner at the catering, and then you have the show at 7.30. And then I wait around backstage to sing the duet with Meatloaf, and I go back to the hotel and I'm totally wired up so I can't sleep until like 3 a.m. And then I sleep till like 12, 1 the next day, and it all kind of happens again. My parents told me in Christmas in Norway, everybody go to church on Christmas Day, and I had like a nice dress on, I was like three years old. And I ran straight up in front of the priest and started singing for the whole church. And then I put my dress over my head and I sang like this completely stupid kid song like about, you know, poo or whatever, like something totally inappropriate. And I would do that all the time. I love getting attention, I always wanted to sing. I was eight years old when I started playing piano. It's funny because most of the time it's always the parents that kind of force the kids to go to school and learn an instrument. But I really wanted to play piano and I remember my parents got me this old piano and I started taking lessons and um, I was loving it. But I would not play the classical stuff, I would always make up my own tunes and or play other bands I liked. Actually, <laughs> the first song I learned to play on piano was Final Countdown by Europe because my brother knew it. The first song I wrote um, was when I was 13 and it was called Girl in Your Dreams and it was about a guy at my school, he asked me to go to the movies with him but then he changed his mind because he liked the blonde girls at school and pretty much every girl in Norway has blonde hair and I don't and I was very upset about it. So the lyric goes, I may not have the blonde hair you like, I may not have eyes like the sky. I may not be the girl in your dreams, but I can show you what love means. <laughs> what inspires me most of the time is feelings that I have if I'm really upset about something, if someone's been really mean to me, or if I'm really jealous, or if I'm missing someone. I, feelings that make me stay up all night and make, you know, that will make me write a song at like 2 a.m. in the morning. And that's when I feel I get the you know, the best songs out of me. I don't think I could ever get enough of being on stage. I have 30 minutes and I love being on there and it goes really fast, it just goes by right, like, like I was just up there for a minute and I'm like, oh my God, it's already over. I just wish I had even more time. It's almost like I just keep playing until Meat Love kicks me off. Actually, being on tour is the only time in my life where I actually know exactly where I'm going and what I'm gonna do because usually I would never know what I'm going to do the next week. I could be in New York or Oslo or LA, I don't know. But now I actually know that I'm going to Sheffield and Dublin and then I'm going to Germany and it's going to Hamburg, Köln, Munich and then I go to Basel in Switzerland and then Amsterdam and then I come back here and I'm going to Belfast. And after that, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'll be. Music to me is my life, it's who I am. Uh, 
People sometimes ask me in interviews what I would do if I didn't do music. But if I didn't do music, I think I'd be a diff completely different person. I don't know what I would do.